Hello everyone, Brit the Badger here, and this is the walkthrough of how I went about making Shiro's wig. I started making a hairline using a technique called ventilation. Here you can see is the lace. Um, it's a very, very fine net netting. This is film quality, so it's super fine. And you can see there's the layer right there that I've pinned down. This right here is the ventilation hook, and finally, my hair. So the hair ends up getting pulled together into a loop. So I pinch it between those fingers, and then I will twist it around my index finger, so it creates a loop, there you can see, and then I pinch it with my thumb, which leaves it nice and secure. I then take the ventilation hook and put it under through one strand of the uh, netting, and then I pull it through, let it catch the hair, and then I loop it around once, and once more for security, rotate the hook downward to help it catch and pull it through the loop of hair. They're creating a kind of four, as you can see there. And then I pull the rest of the hair through and pull it taut in the direction I want the hair to lie. And here we go again. I'm going to bring the ventilation hook through one small part of the netting, let the hair just lay and catch onto the hook as it may, pull it through the netting, loop once, loop twice, twist, and then bring through the hair loop that's created, and then bring it taut. So here I'm just going to speed it up for a little bit and just show how the um, how the hairline starts to take shape. It's actually a pretty cool process and it's kind of a mixture of getting the right thickness in different areas and getting the right shapes that you want. You get kind of quick at it, but you can see here how it's really starting to take shape with that with these small uh, points. And I'm making sure that it's not a huge drastic hairline, I just want something that's a little jagged to fit Shira's character. And here you can see the completed hairline. It's gotten quite a bit thicker and you can see the small points that have been created. Now it's time to start attaching the hairline to the rest of the wig. So here's the completed hairline, just to give you an idea, next to the wig. And the first step is to pull the hair away from the places where I'm going to be attaching the hairline, which is the front part of the crown. I'm using really big alligator clips to do so. The next part, uh, I'm looking to find the center point of the wig for the hairline because I don't want it to be off center so I'm going to check and double check even triple check just to make sure that where my starting midpoint is is actually the center. I'm going to be using a curved needle which will help me to get into the tight spots with white thread so I'm starting here in this at the center point and creating my first stitch and I'm putting the stitch just under where the hairline is, so it's just beneath where you would normally see it, and creating that so it stays put. Now I'm looping it through some of the very fine mesh just at the backmost edge of the hairline. Here you can kind of see it's starting to bring put together and so I have all of the hair from the hairline flipped forward 
because eventually all of that hair is going to flip back on itself. So I'm just going to speed this up and have the time lapse go for the first half of the hairline getting put on. And here's the first half done. And you can see the difference between the first half and the second half. Here's a better close-up view of how I do my stitches for these. Uh, and I'm, this is going to be the second half of the hairline. You can see I just catch a few strands of the, of the lace in the curved needle, pull that through, and make sure that I don't catch like hair and and pins in the process and pull that tight and then I do my next stitch just underneath where the wig weft is that's already built in I'm sorry that my wig head is a little wobbly for this but I think it kind of gets the point across. And I'm just going to speed it up and show you the process. It's also worth noting that after the hairline is installed, I did actually um, install some clips on the underside of the wig to help uh, keep it up on my head as eventually I will be adhering the hairline to my own head with spirit gum and if the wig slides back the gum the glue will not hold so uh, the hook the clips on the underside really help to keep it in place and here's the hairline it's fully installed and on the wig Next, I'm going to be working on actually cutting and styling the wig. So this is a skin top wig, and I'm going to be creating a new part and pulling the hair back away from the face and doing that styling with a comb and with some heat. You can use a hair dryer, is, is probably pretty safe. This is a, a heat resistant wig, so it does pretty well with heat. And for a point of reference, this is an Arda wig Galadriel style in the color silver. I also used a long weft to help construct the hairline. So I just heat up the area that I need to lay in a different direction. And while it's still warm, I press it down into the direction that I want it to stay in. And we're going to speed it up a bit and just show you the process. And here's another angle. Um, I'm just pulling the hair back away from the face because I don't want it natural like I don't want it to just stay in my face all the time because the hairline though it is isn't very visible I do want it to be somewhat uh, visible throughout um, if I end up moving and whatnot because Shiro does not actually have bangs and now I'm just getting closer and closer to where I finally am going to get to the hairline shortly and we're just going to pull that hairline back so that it melds in with the main wig so that it hides that line and a liberal amount of wig detangler is encouraged especially since this is such a long wig just doing a little bit of touch-ups and there. You can see I've got the reference going on in the background. <laughs> and if it, just be careful, like if you're using a styrofoam head, don't get the head itself too hot because the styrofoam will melt a little bit. Now I'm starting to do the long process of cutting. I just have teeny tiny scissors. I wish I had a, a razor comb, but you know, you take what you can get. And I'm cutting parallel to the hairs so that they remain fairly uh, jagged and uh, layered in a nice way and looking very natural. So this takes a long time and this isn't nearly all the footage but um, this just gives you an idea of the amount of cutting that I ended up having to do. There's a lot. And here's the final wig.
and you can see there's liberal amounts of detangler as I was cutting and combing and this is the same process that I ended up using to create Fluttershy's wig for the um, front hairline as well as for Jinx's hairline as you can see here so thank you all for watching um, I hope that there was some good information and always like to share and thank you all. Bye.